All right, everybody, you have made it to the end of the backhand playlist. I know that last time I said that I was going to book in this sucker and end it with a aiming video. I think that becomes more of a series instead of a video just to cap this off. So that Josh was a liar. I'm a new man today. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about follow through and the importance of follow through. If you remember back to the first video of the playlist, we talked about how to get through the playlist kind of step by step. Don't forget that. This process is super important to expediting and getting this form into your muscle memory as quickly as possible. What I'm gonna talk about today is follow through pretty extensively. So follow through is your body's natural deceleration. It's what happens after you put all that acceleration into the disc, right? I'm gonna go kind of piece by piece, body part by body part that we use for the throw and talk about what happens to it. It is helpful for some people to actually focus on the follow through to get the acceleration that they need. So your completed version of your form is going to be super accelerated, super rhythmic, and that involves the follow through. So let me start with the lead hand. Okay, if we are throwing from a tilted posture, that is this tilt happening at the hips here, we've got our swing plane, right? So if I have my arm straight, some of you might think twirly bird, this is showing you my swing plane. If I just have my shoulders here, right? It's important that based upon your swing plane, your follow through looks different. It's not actually different. It's just, if I'm down here on this spike hyzer, my right arm wants to finish nice and high like this, right? Because that's my swing plane. If I'm upright at the waist, my right arm needs to finish across like this, right? And if I'm tilted back throwing a roller, it's gonna finish down like this, okay? If I were to change where it naturally wants to finish, I run the risk of injury and just a crap shot. <laughs> All right, so if I'm throwing from this plane here and I go up and then instead of finishing high here and going through the shot, I go, let me drop it down because I really want a flat shot. Incorrect. So it's really important to finish up. Sometimes I give people the cue to actually, hey, finish up with your right hand because I'm working with them on this tilted plane. So I say, let your right hand finish high. I want it to finish above your head. And that kind of helps them accelerate through the hit. Some people, if they start thinking about follow through and they go, oh, my hand needs to finish up. Well, then they get to the hit and they start pulling their hit late as if it is the follow through. So you're going to have to kind of figure out which one you are. For some people, thinking about the follow through helps them accelerate. Some people, they need to just be loose and explode into the hit as much and then their body will take care of the follow through. Um, but for the lead arm, if you're tilted, it's mostly gonna follow through up. If your plane changes, it's gonna go in line with that plane. Trail leg, that's my left. You'll know from the brace video that when we stomp on this front foot and when we stop our momentum, our momentum is going forward, right? So this foot slides as we go into the hit and then after this hit happens, this right hip goes up and right for me. It starts clearing this way, right? When that hip reaches its full mobility, this hip or this trail foot that was going forward, after I hit and get into my follow through with my chest and my right hip, these start clearing and pulling around. That's why you see pros with this foot whip around afterwards into the follow through. Some of you guys are trying to put that into the shot and rotating out. Don't do that. You go first hit and then somewhere around here for myself, it whips around later. That's why you'll see Drew here, for example, have his knee kind of swing up at the end, right? That's part of the follow through for that trail leg. It doesn't swing around into the hit. That's a follow through piece. Speaking about this front hip, 
This is the contributing factor for when your foot pivots. And there's no consensus on when this happens. I've looked at lots of pros and some do it before the hit, some do it during the hit, and some do it even slightly after the hit. That's gonna be based on hip mobility mostly. And when this starts clearing, your knee is not meant to twist when you have a bunch of pressure on it. We already talked about that in the brace video, but I'm gonna reiterate it here because knees are not fun to mess up. So when we start pressing up here and start de-weighting this foot from the press up, somewhere along the way, our hip goes, oh, I'm out of mobility and your knee going up and down is like, well, should I twist here? And you're, hopefully there's a little warning light goes off in your body. It's like, no, I'd rather pivot to avoid twisting my knee, right? So you go here and somewhere into this hit, my hip goes, my leg straightens. And now in order to protect the knee, my foot pivots. I'm putting this in the follow through portion because it can be part of the follow through. It's the same principle. Your body has energy that goes into this and it wants to get rid of it. And we do that with the lead foot with the pivot. Trail arm. So we came into the hit and the arms got tucked tight, right? And then we kind of did this spread eagle thing that happened. So we go boom, spread eagle. And then eventually what happens? This right shoulder starts pulling around and now your shoulders are attached to each other. So eventually, this, this left arm, this left shoulder for me wants to trail up and finish the shot. It doesn't wanna just stay back here and stretch this muscle right here and pull my arm out of the socket. It wants to hit and then follow through and that's where you see the eyes start to go forward. You go into the hit, hit, and then this trail shoulder starts coming up and that pulls the head forward. That's part of the follow through. Now those are all the specifics because I get those questions a lot, but the principle is don't hurt yourself, kid. Follow through is the way that your body naturally wants to accelerate. And if you start whipping your arm on and off of these different planes, you start keeping your foot in the ground and not letting it pivot the way it wants to, you start slinging this body out and around or keeping this back leg back here like this, instead of letting it swing forward, you start injuring stuff, right? So as you get this form more solid, your follow through is gonna become more and more natural. And if you've got a nice long lane to decelerate and you've got good ways for your bodies to break, it's much more comfortable accelerating. So, Good brakes in a fast car, necessity, or else the driver's just not gonna go that fast. Thanks for tuning in to the Building the Backhand playlist. I hope it has been as helpful for you guys watching as it has been for me creating. Until next time, peace.